Good morning. It is a Tuesday, no tag tag Tuesday. And as you know, Sandy's doing the questions while um, Tracy from, oh, hold on, I'm getting a call. Okay, take two. <laughs> so I don't know where I left off, but Tracy from Trials of Long Hair Girl is doing her studies. So Sandy took over doing these. We're doing them once a month, the second Tuesday of every month. Of course, this Tuesday being, I want to say Valentine's, what is it? St. Patrick's Day um, week. So we're doing, um, let's see, let me scroll up. I'm reading off my computer. Would you rather St. Patrick's Day tag? So the first question, so thank you, Sandy, for doing these. Um, everybody will be linked below if I remember, and it will work for me. Everyone will be there. I'll try to do the questions too. Number one, dance with leprechauns for the day or dress like a leprechaun for the day? Um, <laughs> uh, I'll probably dress like a leprechaun for the day. Um, if you don't know, I am 100% full-blooded Irish. Um, my maiden name is Joint. Yes. <laughs> J-O-I-N-T. Yes, we got picked on all growing up. Um, but my married name is Linieski and because I cook Polish and I'm belong to a Polish church and I have a Polish last name, everybody thinks I'm Polish. I'm like, I am not Polish one bit. I'm full blooded Irish. My mom's last name, her main name was Hogan. So my dad was always very proud that we are 100% Irish. So, but my mom says there's a little bit of German on her side. So we do have a little bit of German, but my dad always said, no. We are 100% Polish. And here's a call again. So I'll be back. Okay. Done. All right. So number one was dance with leprechauns for the day or dress like a leprechaun for the day. I would dress like a leprechaun for the day. Um, number two, find a four-leaf clover or be given a lucky charm. Hmm. So when we were little, in our, where I grew up, my mom and dad's house, um, we had clovers in our backyard. We would search forever for a four-leaf one. I don't think we ever found one, but I think I would like to be given a lucky charm because it would have some sort of meaning and stuff. Number three, speak only in limericks for the day or talk very loud for the day. Talk very loud for the day. <laughs> um, I feel like I talk loud anyway, so... Um, well, especially with this ear problem, I've, but I would probably, <laughs> listen, my whole family talks loud because everybody's deaf. So anyway, I don't think I'd want to talk in limericks for the day. I would probably lose my mind by the end of the day. Um, number four, be as small as a leprechaun or as quick as a leprechaun quick. I'm already short enough. Number five, eat only cabbage every day for a week or eat corned beef every day for a week. Cabbage. I love cabbage. We just had sauerkraut the other night. So I would eat cabbage every day for a week. Um, when I make my sauerkraut on my on my counter, we eat it every day. Um, but I haven't made any because somebody gifted us like six quarts of sauerkraut. and So I have a lot of sauerkraut. So if I want it, I know it's on the shelf. Because I still have some of mine that I can. So... Okay, um, number six. Let me scroll down a little bit. Number six. Live in a world full of rainbows or a world full of shamrocks? I would say rainbows because I love colors. And that would be pretty. Number seven. Dance an Irish jig every hour for a day or walk backwards all day for, for the day. Uh, dance the Irish jig. <laughs> If I walk backwards, I'm going to fall and kill myself. Um, number eight, be in a St. Patrick's Day parade or watch a St. Patrick's Day parade. So this is hilarious because <laughs> you all know I was in the high school band and I was a flag. I was in the color guard and I marched many, many, many St. Patrick's Day parades. <laughs> so 
I've been in them. And then when I graduated out of high school, I went to them because all of my sisters, we were all in the band. So I'd go and see them. So I have done both. And it's probably, I would say it's a lot funner marching it than it is being a spectator. So I would rather be in the parade than watching. Number nine, have emerald green eyes or emerald green hair? Definitely the eyes. I think that would be so pretty. Um, Ray's eyes are like a green. So that I would like that. <laughs> emerald green eyes. And number 10, but there is a bonus question. Only see everything in green for a week or only eat green foods for a week? Only eat green foods for a week. I think that would be kind of fun to do. Um, Because there's a lot of green foods. Mostly, I think, like vegetables. That's what my mind goes to right away. So I think I would do that. And the bonus question is, go to Ireland and stay for a year or never go to Ireland? I would never go to Ireland. <laughs> I don't, I don't go anywhere. I've been to Canada, um, so I've been off U.S. soil. But other than that, anywhere I go, we drive. I will not fly. Um, I have my dogs. Where are you all? Okay. He was making some noise. Um, I've been on a boat, but I have never been on a plane. I do not ever want to go on a plane. I have no ambition to be on a plane. It's just not, not for me. Uh, these feet don't leave the ground. So I drive and I've been a lot of places. I've been to Oklahoma. I've been to Minnesota. Um, you know, I've been to Florida many times. I've been up to Rhode Island and, and Boston, the whole Massachusetts. I've been to Cape Cod. I've been a ton of places. So I've been as far up in Canada as Montreal was there for a whole week. Um, so I've been a lot of places, uh, just have no ambition to fly there though. So that is it. That are the, that is the, um, what was he, what were they called? Would you rather say Patrick say tag questions? So that is it. I'll see you again. I'm sure for my full days of eating, but, um, don't forget to check everybody else's channels out cause they're always fun. And I, I think you learn a lot about people with these questions. So have a great Tuesday. Have a great St. Patrick's Day this week. And I'll see you all soon.